it's a common belief that writing and speaking are the same. However, they are not. Take a look at the big variety of letters that exist in the world today. Different languages use different ways to write their sound symbols. From right to left, from left to right, from top to bottom, in columns, or in various hieroglyphs. At the same time, we know that no matter what language a person speaks, he produces the same sounds with the same speech apparatus. People always produce sounds in the same way. For example, would a black man produce the sound O oh differently from a white one? No. What about A? Ah? Just like all other people of other color or race, all newborn babies also produce sounds in the same way. We just mark these sounds in different languages with different symbols. So if there is only one rule for speech sound production, why are there so many different methods to cure stuttering today? Countless number. What's amazing is that every next curing specialist comes up with even more ridiculous treatment than the previous one. For example, some hit the stutterer's head with electricity and hope to cure somehow their patient from stuttering, which as we know is a lack of speaking skills. If a person has to protrude his lips to say the sound O, oh, nobody can do that for him. A person who stutters has to move his lips himself, otherwise the sound is not going to come out. However, instead of explaining to a stutterer how to place his lips in the correct position for the sound O, oh, healers may electrocute his head or may even offer a head surgery. They may also prescribe medications, perform breathing exercises, or involve their patients in psychological therapy for working out their behavior in stressful situations. Now, they say that stress is the main reason for stuttering. And they say that this is a common scientifically proven fact. This is nonsense. No one would experience stress in a situation where a person knows what to do and how to proceed. A person who stutters is never confident and never knows for sure whether he would be able to say words. Why? Because he simply doesn't know how to speak. Ordinary people speak without stuttering in the same situation that stutterers consider stressful. What makes the situation stressful for a person who stutters? It's the lack of ability to say a word correctly at the very moment when it's needed. For example, for a person who is not able to say, uh, let's say carrots, in the vegetable department of the store, the situation becomes really stressful because he simply doesn't know how to say correctly this word and he cannot ask a salesman for carrots that he needs to buy. So stress has nothing to do with stuttering. The problem is lack of speech skills. Here is another example. We may experience stress when we come to school unprepared for an oral exam. However, our stress level would decrease significantly if we were prepared. People who stutter need to learn how to use their speech apparatus because there is only one way of doing this for each and every person on the planet. For example, in order to say the word parachute, I have to position my lips for the, for the sequence of three vowels, e -a -u. and any human must do the same. It's like playing a piano. A piano player places his fingers on the keys in a certain sequence in order to play the scale. Without that, he will not be able to play it correctly.
We wouldn't call him sick if he made a mistake while playing the scale. No, we realize that he doesn't know yet how to play and needs to learn. He needs to practice. So do starters. They need to learn this one and only one way of playing their speech instrument. This way has been invented by nature. And I have simply described it and given it my name, a method of Roman Snishko. All the other medical methods of curing stuttering are quackery because there is nothing to cure. It's the same as we said that there was another way of playing piano other than to sit in front of it and place the right fingers on the right keys. Do we have another way of driving a car? No. Obviously, there is only one common driving technique that is known to us. The same goes with skills. We all have 32 teeth, one tongue, two lips, one set of vocal cords, and two lungs. How could it be two different ways of using his speech apparatus when we all have the same ones? This is nonsense. Delirium. There is only one way of using our speech apparatus. It's invented by nature. I have described all the sound positions in our speech apparatus, explained how the speech apparatus is being used each time we produce sounds, outlined and worked out the step-by-step three-day study course in which one could quickly learn how to use his speech apparatus correctly and reprogram his speech processes. This will require not much more attention than for what a person learning to hammer nails or play piano requires. It is simple. If it was difficult, then young children would not be able to acquire these skills. Also, it's easy because it's simply natural. Even parrots can learn to speak. Does it mean that a human that cannot learn how to speak is dumber than a parrot? Of course not. Or is he lazier? It doesn't require that much attention in order to make sure that five major articulatory positions stay in place during speech. However, when a person starts to complicate his way of the use of his speech apparatus. He experiences stuttering. People who stutter think that speaking is very difficult. Why? Because they do not know that in reality it's very simple. And also because they are convinced that they are sick. So they wait for somebody to cure them. They have this psycho belief that there is something wrong with their head and that surrounding people are not good. They appear nuts. Development of such mental confusion has been happening in stutterers gradually, starting in their childhood. Without awareness, their parents usually play an active role in this process. Quite often, because of his parents, a child who stutters gradually loses the touch with reality, continues having his handicapped speech which in terms forces him to struggle through his whole handicapped life.